With Oklahoma and Texas now leaving the Big 12 a year early, uh, what is next for that comp? Commissioner Brett Yormark stated at Big 12 Conference Media Days back in July of 2022 that the league is, quote, open for business. Now, in December, he was quoted as saying, we'd love to get into that fourth time zone, and we will at some point. It's a very definitive statement. Uh, Dennis Dodd has a story up over at CBSSports.com, which says that now that Texas A&M and Oklahoma are leaving early, the conference now plans to aggressively pursue expansion in some form. Sources tell CBS Sport. Uh, Dodd's latest story uh, details everything perfectly. Quoting from the article, he said, Your mark seeks game inventory in the Pacific time zone, which would allow the once Midwest-based league to stretch from coast to coast. More importantly, it would give the Big 12 a presence in all four primary television windows, noon, 3.30, primetime, and late night, based on the Eastern time zone. Now, your mark was asked last August what his ideal number of members for the Big 12 might be, to which he responded, I haven't really looked at the number. As I said during Media Day, it can't be diluted. It needs to be additive, and it comes down to making sure that we're identifying the right strategic partners from a school perspective and those that bring value to our conference. He said, we'll be at 12 in a couple of years when you add the four, you know, BYU, UCF, Cincy, and Houston, and when Texas and Oklahoma actually leave. Uh, now, here's the biggest part of this. He said, if it's 16 or 20, I can't tell you, but we just have to make sure that whatever number it is, it's all about the value equation. And he's 100% right about this, by the way. Uh, at, at certain points, you get to uh, the point of diminishing return, as we have talked about on the show multiple times. Uh, but let's let's move on. All the talk has been about the Big 12 adding the four corner schools from the Pac-12. We know Utah makes sense to pair with BYU, of course. Uh, Colorado makes sense geographically along with Arizona and Arizona State. But the thing that all of those schools have in common is they are all located in the mountain time zone. Now, notice up there again that your mark said he couldn't tell you if the ideal number of Big 12 members is 16 or 20. If he brings in the four corner schools to the Big 12, that makes 16, but it didn't get the Big 12 into the Pacific time zone. The two biggest fish in the uh, Pacific time zone, of course, are Oregon and Washington. Now, all of this revolves around the potential Pac-12 television contract with ESPN and Amazon that we spoke about at length last week. Uh, for a quick refresher, an AD inside the Pac-12 told The Athletic last week that no deal had been reached because the contract offers have not been good, uh, which is why the Pac-12 commissioner, George Klaufkov, has been visiting San Diego State and SMU recently, looking into expansion, adding inventory for potential partners. Uh, the basic thing to know about this is that Pac-12 schools really didn't want to expand, because Klyovkov overpromised what each school could make by staying at 10, and now he's having to hunt for additional inventory just to get something close to what the Big 12 has already secured. Uh, the longer the Pac-12 goes without a media rights deal, the more nervous the current schools could get about the league's stability. So, back to Big 12 potential expansion. If the Big 12 takes the four corner schools because they prefer stability and security over whatever mess they're currently in in the Pac-12, uh, then that leaves only six schools in the Pac-12. SMU and San Diego State don't join the Pac-12 if there's only six schools, which means Oregon and Washington will be the biggest fish left with no TV deal and no real conference home. If they decide that the Big 12 is their best option and there's no offer from the Big 10 or, you know, those two schools put the Big 12, I guess, at 18 schools at that point, if those states legislatively require Washington State and Oregon State to be paired up with their sister schools, then who knows whether the Big 12 will offer for all four to join. But if they do, that means that they would take eight Pac-12 schools that would bump their total number of schools up to 20, which, as I mentioned earlier, is one of the numbers that Yormark mentioned. Now, Yormark saw this as a possibility when he took over his Big 12 commission. Uh, that does leave out Cal and Stanford, and as I and other media guys have mentioned since last August, who know how long those two, uh, those two schools are going to want to be playing big-time college football. They could end up joining, I guess, the Mountain West. Uh, and to think about it, if there's no legislative action tying Washington State and Oregon State uh in with, of course, Oregon and Washington, I guess the Mountain West could add those four new schools and bump their membership back up to 16. There is the issue of distance, right? Would it make more sense for Pac-12 schools to be, you know, making five or six million dollars less per school along with a decline in exposure in order to stay in the same geographical footprint? Like a trip from Salt Lake City to Seattle is 400 miles less than a trip to Fort Worth. Not that big of a deal when you're taking a plane and whatnot, but uh, a trip from Salt Lake City to Orlando, Florida is 2,300 miles. I mean, it's nearly three times the distance. If you're going from Tempe, Arizona to Morgantown, that's over 2,000 miles. Now, there are several trips that are just absurd that would have to be taken regularly. Remember, this is not just about football. Like, this is basketball, baseball, volleyball, track, etc. Teams, uh, all of those teams would become a part of this as well. So, 
for some of these Pac-12 members, the Big 12 is really an absolute last resort. But right now, like things do look a bit dire for the Pac-12. Um, and I mean, we're talking about the Big 12 here, right? It, it, they are, quote, aggressively pursuing expansion. Like it, you can imagine Oregon versus Oklahoma State as a conference game. Washington versus TCU. Utah versus BYU being a Power 5 uh, conference game or just a Power Conference game. We legitimately could have a conference game between Oregon State and Cincinnati. Like Beavers and Bearcats. That, that could be incredibly interesting as we move forward uh, and I'm beginning to feel like the Big 12 getting Pac-12 schools in expansion is more likely than not at this point maybe I'm wrong I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this so toss them into the comments down there Psst. hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button and of course jump in the comments thanks for listening to winning cures everything make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app and make sure to leave a nice five-star review Follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.